Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. I did a video about what's new uh, with Samplitude Pro X5 and this is a follow-up video. Uh, they changed the comparisonic uh, colors to wave colors. So today we're gonna check the differences between X4 and X5 and explain what it does. I'm very happy that you are here on my channel listening to videos. It means a lot to me. I hope you and your family are well. And uh, in this video, we're checking the difference between uh, comparisonic colors and wave colors from Samplitude Pro X4 versus Pro X5. So let's dive in right away. So this is how Samplitude usually display the waves shapes. So let's go back to uh, the settings, view options. And of course, uh, the mode that is very interesting with the new version is the um, default and standard. You'll get that kind of colors and it's, it is a uh, frequency dependent. So it starts with the lower frequencies with black, brown, yellow, um, green, blue, and blue uh, shows the higher frequencies. So let's zoom in on uh, an overhead mic just to see uh, the difference. You see at the end the blue part, Those. this is a, a symbol hit. Okay, so it gives you a new tool to uh, recognize where you are in the song, uh, identify maybe defects in an instrument if uh, the instrument isn't supposed to give those kind of fre frequencies. So now let's open the same project in uh, Sampli2 Pro X4. This is very nice that uh, saved project in X5 can be opened in X4, so it's backward compatible. And we're going to go and change the view colors to uh, comparisonic colors. That was the choice that they gave us in the past. You see there, there's also some reaction to the frequencies, but of course it's only uh, black to blue, uh, tint of blue. Okay, let's zoom in. You see the symbol it again. So you see here the uh, higher frequencies will be displayed as white. So it starts from black to blue, light blue and white. If we go to default colors, um, I saw that having X5 and X4 might give some uh, little bugs if you get them together. Because uh, each time that I choose default colors, um, the software will scan to display, but it's looping tracks to tracks to tracks again and again. It's not a big problem because, because I enjoy the comparisonic uh, colors. And in the new version, uh, the displays with all the colors, they're very nice to have. So I won't go back to standard display. Uh, but if I would want to go back, I couldn't. Um, so you see each time that I load the project, it tries to uh, rebuild, uh, but it's not working anymore. Uh, so I think it's it's only the fact that we I have both uh, version installed. I guess that if I uninstall the X4 and install the X5, it won't have any problem. So we're going to save and then uh, go back to X5 one last time. Uh, 
And there we go. Uh, the new cutters are working, working fine. It's going to take time to build uh, all the tracks. And if I go back again to standard colors, uh, it will start to loop the tracks again and trying to display them. So I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments. They will either become new videos or I can answer you directly. Uh, if you did like it, please click on like, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications, and share my videos. It's always a great help.